Hey, Tony here. So today I'm going to show you all of the titles that I watched during the month of June. There were a lot of great films that I was able to see, some at home, some in the theater, some on streaming. Um, we did have the Nicolas Cage month, so there was a lot of Nicolas Cage films that I was able to watch, mostly toward the latter half of the month. Um, but first up, if you want to, you can follow along on my Letterboxd account. The link is down below. But first up, I watched The Untouchables. I really enjoyed this film. This right here was the first time that I had ever seen this one. Um, so really happy that I was finally able to watch this one. Great performances. Um, and then I wanted something a little bit lighter and funner to watch. So I watched Daddy's Home. Really enjoyed this one. Um, especially Will Ferrell's performance. He was really funny. Same way with Daddy's Home 2. I really enjoyed that one. And then I did get the Arrow release for Wild Things, so I had never seen this one before. So I took time to watch this one. Really enjoyed it. I thought it was a great um, thriller. Um, so enjoyed that one. And then just to kind of kick off the Nicolas Cage month, I watched Color Out of Space, which I didn't like. I mean, it was visually appealing, but the story was kind of weird. Um, I don't know, maybe it needs another watch, but it wasn't my favorite. Then I watched The Rental. Um, don't really remember much about this one. It didn't, I don't think it hit too well with me, um, but I did watch The Rental. And then um, I watched Grease 2. I had never seen Grease 2. Well, I had seen Grease 2 before, but it's been a very long time. And I did pick up the still book, so I decided to watch it. And wasn't really a big fan of it at all. I, I really enjoyed the, the original Grease, but Grease 2 was not my favorite. Um, and then I watched The Green Knight for the first time. Um, I don't know why I kept on putting this one off, but I did. I think most people said that you would either love it or hate it. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was really good. Um, I definitely will watch this one again. The next one I watched was The Feast. Um, I guess it's, I'm not sure exactly why I watched this one. If somebody recommended it to me or not, maybe. But it was okay. It, it, it was okay. It was kind of weird. Um, but I watched The Feast. So the next film I watched was Jurassic World Dominion. Me and my wife were able to go to the um, theater to see this one. We really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people either loved it or hated it. But we loved it. We thought it was really fun. And so very happy that we were able to see that one. Okay, the next film me and my wife watched was on streaming. We watched Hustle with Adam Sandler. We really enjoyed it. Great story. Something different. Um, I thought it was really good. So very happy to have that um, watched. And I hope we are able to get that one on physical media someday. Okay, the next film I watched was Two for the Money. Somebody had recommended that I check this one out. Um... It was okay. I didn't I didn't thoroughly enjoy it. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't my favorite. Okay, the next one I watched was a recommendation. Um, I watched The Kid Who Would Be King. Um, I had this one in the collection, but I had never really opened it up or checked it out. But somebody recommended that I check this out. I really enjoyed it. It's a fun movie. Um, if you've never seen it, I would recommend you check that one out. Then, of course, we um, I finally watched Morbius. I did not get to see this one in the theater, um, but I did get the 4K release and opened it up and watched it. It was okay. It was not great. Um, I liked the visual effects of it, but the storyline was very lacking. Okay, now the next titles that I'm going to get into are mostly all the Nicolas Cage films that I watched. Some of, some of these are rewatches that I've seen before, and some of these right here will be first time watches, so I'll let you know what is what. So first up, I saw Face Off. Of course, I've seen this many times. One of my favorite Nicolas Cage films. Really enjoyed the performances by all. It was a fun movie. Lots of action and gore and blood and all the things that you would like. Um, the next one was a first time watched. I watched Lord of War on 4K. I really enjoyed this movie. Didn't really know much about it. Um, someone had recommended that I check this Nicolas Cage film out, so I did. And very happy that I did. I enjoyed it. Then I watched The Weatherman. This was a first time watch. I really enjoyed this one. Um, great performances by Michael Caine and um, Nicolas Cage and everybody else in it. I thought it was a good story. Another favorite of mine is Adaptation. I had never seen this one before. It's got Meryl Streep in it. 
Um, wasn't very familiar at all with the story, so when I watched it, I thought it was very interesting, something different. I really enjoyed the fact that Nicolas Cage played two different roles in this. So if you haven't seen it, check that one out. One that I've always enjoyed, this is usually typically a holiday movie, um, but I watched The Family Man. It had been a while since I'd seen this one, um, but it's a good take on It's a Wonderful Life. Um, if you've never seen it, this right here would be a good holiday film for you to add to your collection. Okay, another film that I've only seen once, and now I've seen it twice, is Wild at Heart. This is a David Lynch film. It's definitely You can definitely tell it's a David Lynch film. Um, it's got Laura Dern in it. It was okay. Um, it was not my favorite David Lynch film, but I am very happy to have this one in the collection. Okay, the next one is a first time watch that I wished I would have been able to see in the theater, but for whatever reason, it never did play in my area within driving distance. Um, but finally, we got it very quickly on physical media, and that is The Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent. Really enjoyed this film. I thought that um, everybody did a great job on this one. Lots of action, a loss of humor, which I wasn't expecting. So this right here was probably one of my favorite releases so far for this year. Okay, the next one is Snake Eyes. I don't remember ever seeing this one before, um, but I really enjoyed this film. Um, it really reminded me a lot of a Hitchcock film. Um, the way that it was shot and everything seemed very much like a like a Hitchcock film, but I really enjoyed Snake Eyes. Okay, one that I had seen before previously, but it had been a while, and that is Raising Arizona. I've always enjoyed this um, Coen Brothers film with Holly Hunter in it. Um, I think I enjoyed it more back in the day than I did on this rewatch, but it's not terrible. Um, I did enjoy seeing John Goodman in this one. I, I'd forgotten that he was in this. So very happy to have that one. Um, I have been able to watch that one. Okay, the next film I watched, I watched by myself in the theater because my wife didn't care to see it. And that is The Black Phone. I was able to go see that one last weekend and really enjoyed the film. I, I really um, liked the atmosphere of it, the dark, gloomy side of it. Um, really good acting by the child actors. Um, so very happy that I was able to see that one in the theater. Can't wait to get it on physical media. Okay, the next film I watched is 8mm. Um, I had never seen this film before. I really enjoyed this one. This is another top film for me, for Nicolas Cage. Very happy to have added that one. Uh, I added that to the collection after a lot of people recommended that I check it out. So I definitely bought that one and Amazon delivered it very quickly. Okay, the next one I watched is Valley Girl. I've had this one in the collection ever since it got released. Had never seen it before. Um, it wasn't... It wasn't my favorite Nicolas Cage film, um, not even close. I'm glad I got it in the collection. I enjoyed the special features, but the movie just didn't hit it with me. So, um, but anyways, Valley Girl. Okay, the next one I watched, thinking I was going to like it a lot more than I did, and that is Mom and Dad. Um, I had never, I had never seen this one before. This was a first time watch. It was action packed. Um, it's almost like a zombie movie, but without zombies. Um, never really got a, um, the movie really never got a conclusion to it. It just kind of ended, didn't get any answers of what had happened. Um, I know that there were TV spots and radio announcements going on throughout the film. I don't know if maybe you can hear a little bit about what's going on during those, um, during that time, but I never could catch what actually happened to cause... Um, the main plot of the story to, to unfold. Um, but I'm very happy that I, I watched it, but it's not one that I'll visit anytime soon. Okay, the next one I watched, or the next three I watched are first time watches. Um, definitely they were recommendations after I put out the my top 10 Nicolas Cage films that I've seen. I put out a video asking any other recommendations that were not listed and so I ordered these off of Amazon and they came in quickly so these were my final three days of watches. I watched Honeymoon in Vegas which I really enjoyed. Um, I thought James Caan and Sarah Jessica Parker did a really good job as far as their parts in this film. Um, 
I guess I wasn't really sure exactly what this film was about. I always get this one and Leaving Las Vegas confused. So I didn't realize how much of a romantic comedy type film this was, but I did enjoy it. So happy that I added that one to the collection. Then I watched The Rock for the first time. I had never seen this one. Everybody was going crazy that I had never seen it before, so I bought it. I watched it. I loved it. It is one of my top Nicolas Cage films now. And then right underneath this one would be this one, Con Air. I watched this last night. Um, really enjoyed it. I thought this was action-packed. Um, I enjoyed John Malkovich's performance. All the supporting casts were great. The storyline was great. The only thing that was kind of aggravating was Nicholas, Nicholas's, Nicholas Cage's southern accent was very annoying at times. Um, I know he's supposed to be from Alabama during the in this film, but it just didn't sound like anybody from Alabama that I know of. Um, I'm from the South. I'm from Georgia. I don't think I talk like that. I, I, I don't know what kind of accent I have. But anyways, Con Air was a great watch. So those are the films that I watched during the month of June. Hopefully you were able to see all the films that you wanted to watch. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've seen any of these. Maybe some of the films that you had watched during the month of June. I really do enjoy reading your comments. If you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would really appreciate it if you'd subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Um, if you want to see what I've been watching, follow along with me on my Letterboxd account. I do have the links below, so definitely check those out. And we will see you next time.